Okay. Now let's talk about the musculoskeletal system. If we break this down into our medical terms, our word parts, what is this system? Muscular. Muscle and? Muscle and skeletal. Muscle and skeleton, right? Okay. When we talk about our muscles, and we're talking about the muscles that are within our musculoskeletal system, we have, we have three types of skeletal muscles, but we're only going to deal with one when we're talking about the skeletal system. It's called skeletal muscle. It's also known as striated. Why is it striated? Why, what does that mean? Say it all out. It's got lines in it. Striations. Yeah, the cells, the way the cells line up, it creates lines in the muscle itself. The other two types of muscle that we have in our body are called smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. Smooth muscle lives in the digestive system and the respiratory system, and cardiac muscle lives in the heart. Okay? So when we talk about musculoskeletal, we're talking strictly about the skeletal muscle or striated muscle. These muscles are voluntary. What does voluntary mean? You choose to move them. You have control over whether or not they move. Okay? If you have a muscle that is involuntary, your heart, your heart, your heart's an involuntary muscle, cardiac muscle is involuntary, what does that mean? It moves by itself. It moves by itself or you don't get a choice. Okay? You don't really have a choice in peristalsis, right? Peristalsis happens whether you want it to or not. Now, you have somewhat of a choice. Go ahead. What is that, peristalsis? Peristalsis is the motion of digestion where you put food in and it squeezes it and turns it into chyme and it works its way all the way through your body. Okay? You have somewhat of a choice to a certain point. Can you slow your own heart rate down? How do you do that? Calm yourself. Try and calm yourself? Relaxation. Do you know what the vasovagal effect is? Have you heard of it? Yeah, it's what happens to old folks on the toilet. Happens to old folks on the toilet when they're straining too hard to get their poop out, right? And what does it cause? Cardiac arrest. Causes cardiac arrest because? Lowered, uh, lowered pulse rate. Lowered pulse rate. And how do they get a lowered pulse rate? They're stimulating the vagus nerve. They're stimulating the vagus nerve. So, everybody take a breath in. Now, you're all sitting down and I'm not, so I'm not going to pretend like I'm taking a dump, but you all can. Okay? Take a deep breath in and pretend you're taking a dump. <laughs> That's going to slow your heart rate down. So, you have control over your heart to a certain point, but really your heart is an involuntary muscle. Okay? It's going to beat whether you tell it to or not. Now, you can try to slow it down, but unless you have something wrong with your heart, it's not going to let you down. Right? Skeletal muscle, on the other hand, you have complete control over. We have control over whether our fingers move, we have control over whether our joints move, whether we can dance. Some of us can't dance even though we wish we could, you know. Um, you have control over your toes. Voluntary muscle. Okay. So what do you call, like breathing because you can control your lungs but it's also involuntary. The muscles of your of around your ribs, they're all involuntary. The muscles inside your alveoli, those are smooth muscle. You can't control, you can't consciously control whether or not your alveoli constrict or dilate. Okay? Mm -hmm. You can consciously control whether or not the muscles that are attached to your skeleton expand to a certain point, right? Okay, so the muscles that control the actual mechanism of respiration, respiration is different than ventilation, okay, the muscles that control actual respiration, you don't have any control over, so the, that, those are involuntary. The muscles that control ventilation, you have some control over, so those are considered voluntary. Okay, this muscle, it's called your bicep. This muscle is called your tricep, if you have a muscle here. Even if you don't have a muscle here, it's still called your tricep. It just doesn't look like anything, right? 
Okay, and as we were saying before, muscles work opposite each other. So when our bicep flexes, our tricep extends and vice versa. Okay, what is the function? What are the functions of your musculoskeletal system? To provide for movement and strength. Okay. What else? Protects vital internal organs. What else? What does your body do when it starts to get too cold? Uh, you shiver. You shiver. And, and what does that shivering cause? Generate heat. Generates heat. Okay. So your muscles are also responsible for helping to maintain homeostasis or to help maintain heat within your body. Stop. 